Learning to live your life using crutches has many challenges. With patience and a fresh perspective, it's possible to accept the curveball life has thrown you and embrace the challenge as an adventure. After a spiral fracture of both my tibia and fibula, I spent three months on crutches. Initially, I was overwhelmed and frustrated to tears. With time, I became more mobile and confident and began to enjoy my life again. I wanted to share my story for those who may find themselves in a similar predicament and encourage them to get out and about as much as they can. First and foremost, expect that everything will take a little more time. This means you need to move slower and manifest patience. Expect to get frustrated, but no time your body will adjust, just like weight training or cardio conditioning. After two weeks or so, I noticed my arm strength increased. I had some serious guns. Then came the calluses on my palms. At first I was repulsed, but soon realized this was evidence my body was adapting. I gained confidence and was able to get around on my own. In your travels, you will come across doors that you need to open. Stop to push the door open, and with the crutch nearest the swinging door, jam the rubber end of the crutch, we'll call this the power crutch, so the door stays open. Swing your body through the door and remove the power crutch and you are on your way. If you need a little extra time getting through the door, move the power crutch from the jam of the door towards the handle end. Yep, fanny packs are so 1980s, but they're incredibly useful and they're great for holding your water or your coffee. If you need groceries, get out and shop. And don't hesitate to use the handy Daniel Rascal when available. They can be lots of fun. Using the right gear, you may even be able to walk your dog, if you have one. I fastened the leash around my waist and amazingly enough help did not pull as if she understood that crutches meant I was not 100% healthy. Dogs never cease to amaze me. We want to heal and recover and get back out to the activities and life we enjoy. One silver lining I found while being confined to crutches is sincere gratitude for a healthy body, something so easy to take for granted. Another silver lining is how amazing the people in your life are, your sweetheart, friends, and family, anyone who can tolerate your frustrations and offer you support in your road to recovery are badass and need to be recognized as such. With determination and patience, you can continue to enjoy the activities that bring you joy while you heal. It's important to start slow and steady. And if you're not up to it on one particular day, lay low and try again another day. Or get some sleep. Isn't it all about maintaining an open mind and a positive perspective? Why should that be any different just because you're on crutches?